So as Bloxburg players, we sometimes get that feeling that we just want to build a new home. I mean, I get that feeling every day. I got a feeling. And I think a lot of people do. We love switching up our homes, like there's some sort of hairdo that needs redoing every week. And as you can see behind me, I sort of started it off camera, but then I thought, why the hell aren't I filming this? Like, this could make a cute series. I don't know if you guys are even going to want this, so just let me know in the comments if you actually do. As you can see, we have a $2.3 million budget for this build. I doubt we'll be spending all that say. I mean, I hope not. That would be very concerning. But it's not out of the question. So all I've really done off camera is build like the roofs and the outline. So I'm actually going to show you like the above floor plan if anyone wants to build this for themselves. The only thing I've done in stairs is this staircase. And outside, I've got these pillars. Now, these are 100% custom. They are also 100% expensive. And if you're wondering how I made these ones, I actually use the ornate pillar with the traditional one. And this is my intro picture. Like, of course, I know everyone has different styles, but who doesn't want to live like Queen Elizabeth? Oh, wait. Anyway, as you can see, I've gone for this brick colour, which they did actually add in the new update, which we've all heard and seen. It's been the most controversial thing in the town. And also, you might be wondering, like, wait, this is kind of taller than normal. It's actually three storeys high. However, the ground floor is each of the rooms are going to be two storeys. So, for example, I think about this could be, like, the drawing room or something. As you can see, the, the layout is a work in progress, guys. That's why I didn't start filming this from the beginning, because I honestly didn't think I would make it into a video. And if you can hear rain in the background, guys, that's UK weather for you. It is May. Promise me this is forever. And since we got such a huge budget today, we are going to be using Vitor chandelier. And you might be thinking, Reese's, how do you have such a big budget? Well, I did explain it in the last video, but I sadly had to buy money. For these walls then, it's actually so complicated building this big. Like, should we have a balcony here? What should we even be doing? I'm so lost. They did actually add these ornate fences. I mean, with a build this grand, they love looking over the balcony. <laughs> Sorry. Started. Why does resizing cost $500? Like what? It makes no sense to me. I think we definitely need to do a custom floor. Yeah, I could go in and we could do some checkered marbles, but I want that <laughs> marbles. What? Do some checkered floor, but I want this build to really stand out from everything else. But yeah, if I was being basic today, I would use this, but I ain't no basic smasic Stacy. So if you don't know how to do this, basically you get a very small cube and we're going to place this on here. Now, I remember back in the day when people would do custom floor i was like whoa you are so super cool at building and then i realized guys it's actually so much simpler than you think you just go in here we'll head over to pinterest my pinterest is all just palaces and dogs now i've used this one before that one's a bit of a hater to be honest so i'm gonna use this one basically every time i try to use the other one it would always overlap it would actually be a bright pain in my bum and just to make life so much easier, I'm going to resize this to be exactly four squares. Already, I'm in love, guys. Right, that's the end of the video. Love it. <laughs> I am too funny. Also, can we just talk about how the fact this is worth 120,000? What? I placed some walls. But back to what I was saying. Well, that's what I was saying. Let's actually see if this has worked. If it hasn't, I'm going to quit. What, what is this about? Okay, so it lines up this way. It's just the other way that's not really working. So... <gasps> Oh, I'm not going to make the rookie error of placing it all before I place the furniture in. Because if you didn't know, these carpets, they ain't a huge fan of you placing things on them. And I've sorted out the second floor. So I guess just before we add things in, we need to sort out the mess that is the third floor. I kind of want to have like a diagonal moment. Only a very small diagonal, of course. Nothing too insane. Just so you can get like a small peek over the stairs. And also, this shape is absolutely heavenly. But do you see what I mean now, guys? About like, this is such a rogue trial and error build at this early stage but i'm liking this staircase no that is he's nice friendly, that is friendly, different friendly, that, friendly, is unusual. that is vampiric so we'll add to our little ghosty nightclub down here <laughs> it does look like a bunch of flying ghosts and oh my gosh guys in the blink of an eye we have sorted this out for our wall trims we've most certainly got to have full wall ones because since it oh. Looks like that ain't gonna be working over there, but to the naked eye, it looks like a normal length. And yes, I am making it white. That's because this up here is all gonna have wallpaper on, of course. Obviously, we're using a crown wall trim. The clue's in the name, guys. Crown Royal Palace. And you might be thinking, Reese's, you built a palace the other day ago. That was just me experimenting with the new items. Veterans of the True Reese's channel might know I actually have another large mansion. This is gonna be like the replacement for that. For the internal doors, I guess traditional ones are gonna work the best for me. And back into painting we go because we've got to find some wallpaper to go up here and it's got to be proper luxury and then we're gonna sprint like sonic okay i have returned with options now this one triggers me 
I used to use this all the time, so I don't actually think that one's too much of an option. But these two, um, hello. And I'm starting to remember now why I don't often use decals. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually pretty happy with this so far. However, we are, of course, going to litter these walls with paintings of, like, Mary Antoinette. But we'll get to that a little bit later on. Back here, I was going to add a room. But there's not really any need for one now. It's basically just the staircase bit. Which we should finally probably colour these stairs. I just want them to be a bit more fancy. Ooh! I wasn't expecting to like that, but I really, really do. <laughs> And I'm really impressed with this staircase system. Okay, maybe not this bit, but the rest is beautiful. I'm so impressed with this. I know that sounds like very biased and up my own bum, I to say. It does genuinely look amazing. And sadly, it does poke out a bit, but that is a very small price to pay for this amazing staircase. And actually, I was about to start littering panels here. I've just had the best idea and I'm so excited about it. We need to simply be having full glass windows. I'm thinking if we add these, then surely we can make these look nice from the back. It might not look the same as the front, but that's fine. Who wants their bum to look the same as their face? Do you know what I mean? So as far as I'm concerned, we can fit three along here. That is beautiful. Do you know what? I think it even needs to go higher than that. Oh, wait, no, stop. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you okay, pussy? Guys, I'm so sorry. My cat just jumped up on my desk and knocked my bottle all over the floor. <laughs> oh, she's left the room now. She was just like that. So yeah, I'm liking that window. And then just to make everything equal to peak walls, of course, we have got to outline it. Now, the one thing about using multiple windows is you can't copy and paste them. So that is why this build is going to be so time consuming. And also why I don't know if you guys are even going to want this part. But then again, I was a little scared. I was like, you guys might get really angry at me if I make this whole thing and don't film it. And also I got a comment the other day, which was like, build a palace and trap us in your dungeon, which, you know, sounds like a very intriguing idea to me. No, I actually want to add a balcony here. Is that insane or is it insanely genius? That's the question. So again, nothing too crazy, crazy till you see the sun. But if we pull this up to actually like cover up those, then we're killing two birds with one stone. Okay, it kind of does look insane right now. No, do you know what? Not everything has to be a balcony, Reese's. Let's just leave it how it was. And if I got a pound for every time I had to rearrange my uneven windows. I'd be rich. Just to give it a little bit of depth to it, I've actually made that blue. Okay, so we are going to head a bit more outside now, and we are going to add more of these windows and such. So adding these ones actually probably the easiest it is. It's just outlining it that takes all the effort. I'm constantly checking everything is even, guys, because the thought that like one little mistake can ruin everything just gives me a panic attack. <sighs> I'm having a panic attack right now. I need to calm down. And then maybe we could have like these big chunky chunkies. Actually, no, they're a bit too chunky and big. Maybe we could have these small chunky chunkies up here. And you know what they say in life, guys? If you want something done, you've got to do it. Do they say that or did I just make that up? I should tell myself that I literally have like a homework due. That if I don't do it in the next like three days, I fail my whole grade. So let's carry on building and playing Roblox instead. <laughs> No, of course I'll get it done, but you guys needed a video. Oh, that is so much more important. And shall we do doubles? I think we should do doubles. Now I'm looking at it, those curtains look really bad. Oh my gosh, I just deleted loads of stuff over there. Okay, so we'll outline these now. And while I'm outlining these, I'm gonna sing a song. No, I'm not gonna sing a song, guys. Don't worry, guys. I'll never curse your eardrums with that catawalling. Top ton of trainer, LAX. <laughs> And this is what I've come up with already. Don't they look so much better just outlining? Oh, God, <laughs> where am I? They look so much better outlining them. Well, and then, oh. Right now I'm either learning about quantum computing or... Siri, but do not interrupt me when I'm building on my palace. Anyway, after Siri's interruption, let's put in the rest of these windows. But before we put them in, we've actually got to do a little bit of trickery with basic shapes. Because as you can see here, the pillars aren't quite touching the roof. That's because I haven't added in my special, special shapes. Don't be doing that red stuff with me. It's not going to work with me, okay? And there we go. Now, as you can see, like, we actually have worked out that the windows do need to be lower. So I actually think we should go into factory and maybe add some of these or even just use these ones to be fair. Save ourselves a little job. Okay, right. You see, that does look cool, but it looks weird. So instead, I've gone for the unanimous decision to do this. Oh my gosh. No. Why did I just turn that into a gangster then? Number. <laughs> 
That is perfect. And wait, that looks way better when it's further apart. This is just looking like such a stately manor home. Well, obviously that's the whole theme. Next up, I guess we need to decorate these roof bits. Which we've really just gone for these two colors. This is the hex code if you want it. And then of course it's concrete. Yeah. I thought they might've gone for like a brick or something, you know, switch it up. But no, they just love the concrete. And it's not actually mental, mental chicken or anything how people live in these houses like to this day. We've got to now make this, whatever the hell on earth that is. So we're going to start, not with that actually, we're going to start with the flat roof. And I'm going to do this on each side as we go, because otherwise I'm bound to get it wrong. It's sort of like this and it's all archway. Now, in my opinion, it kind of looks like this mixed with, as you can see, I actually made some like custom, they kind of look like hamburgers, I've just noticed. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean? Like these could definitely be used. Ain't nobody going to be seeing up here, like how exact things are. They are so flipping expensive. You want a nice house in Bloxburg, you've got to put your hand in your pocket now. And actually, I've just realized like how rude this actually probably looks to people. Like people are struggling for their hospital bills in Bloxburg. I'm out here building a palace. But you know why I'm building it, guys? So I can give you all a home. I will let all of you stay in one of my thousand bedrooms. So obviously that is not the entirety of it done. We are going to add an archway in. These look like those things that they used to shoot arrows out of back in the medieval times. And this kind of looks like out of Harry Potter, you know, where they kept Sirius Black in like a clock tower. And the cool wall trims I'm talking about are, of course, these ones. They're pretty expensive, but you know me. There's no way in hell I could custom build this. So I guess we should put a light in the middle. I, I'm going to put this lantern. They're, they're little, but they're deadly, okay, guys? So yeah, now that's done. I've just got to copy that three more times. And whoosh, those four, can we even call them clock towers? are in. So just to sort of wrap up the front then, we need to fix that rest of these clock towers. I do like these windows, but I feel like this is the one that just needs these. We're gonna use these. Yes, it's the return of the basics. And I'm trying my hardest to work out like how this would ever work together. I don't really want to do the work today. I don't really want to do the work today. And now let's try and add those pesky window panes in. Oh my gosh, it works. Once again, like you basically saw me do earlier, we'll pull this down. <gasps> Oh my gosh, and it's a little itty bitty window. So, two more things I need to do in this video. One, pillars. Two, front lawn. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not gonna be able to do a lovely Mother Nature inspired front lawn in this short amount of time, but I can add some hedges and stuff. But before we do that, we should add in the pillars which need to go here. And basically, it's gonna be a mixture of the two we had over here. So, and that actually looks so insanely good. I hate to at my own trumpet, but I think today I'm allowed to. Anyway, let's add in the pathway. So as you can see here, they try for green grass. Like, what are you thinking? So what I'm going to do is basically, we're just going to add the very basic outline at the moment. Next, we'll go into our fences, which of course are going to be bushes. So once again, I probably am going to alter this slightly off camera, but I did just want to have a little bit in. Do you know what I mean? And now here's the fun part where we get to make mazes out of hedges. We've got to make it so it can actually be symmetrical. So like this, for example. Oh, oh, I just laughed so hard. My kit cat wrapper flew off the desk and I never thought it'd be so therapeutic just adding hedges but it really is with a snap of my fingers that is in and with that guys part one tree you're ruining my b-roll here part one of the palace is done let's go look around so my beautiful subjects I feel like the soundtrack of Downton Abbey should be playing right now maybe it is in the edit if it's not copyrighted <laughs> But yes, we need to talk about this. Did I wake up and think I'm gonna become a pro builder in Bloxburg? I think I might have. Of course, mainly that today was about the outside and this is so big. It, like big. it literally spans across the whole large plot. Like the hedges and stuff looks amazing. And if you guys do want part two, like look at how much room we have left for a back garden. So of course there's so much more to add to here, like cars and trees and fountains and all that kind of jazz. But let's actually head inside now. So we of course laid down the foundations of the floor. These checker floor is going to be pulsating through the entire entryway. Of course we also made the grand staircase which spirals all the way around here if you are wondering. And yes so to get a taste of what some of the rooms are going to be like. For example in this room, do you know what I mean? Like it's going to be an office two stories high. This is going to be a beautiful drawing room. It's going to be so super stunning. And then of course we have our grand staircase. And I just love this view as you come downstairs 
And the thing is, it's only gonna get better, better, and better. So there we have it, guys. That was me building my new palace. This was a bit of a random video, but if you guys do want me to turn this into a series, just subscribe and like. And thanks for watching this part, though, and I'll see you all in the next one.